So I've been sitting uh, at this screen for about an hour now. I'm trying to log in online for WWE 13 into the Xbox Live portion to download some characters. And I've been here for about a fucking hour. It, and it still hasn't. I've been sitting here for an hour trying to get online on WWE 13 to download some creative characters. It's been an hour now. I, have, I am still stuck at the same loading screen. Still sitting here. Still sitting here in case you fucking wonder. I'm not doing nothing. I don't have anything else to do but just fucking sit here and watch the WWE logo spin around and around because I'm not... I didn't click Xbox Live to do anything W13, of course. That would that would make too much sense. I clicked it just to sit here and listen to the shitty theme music you give your wrestlers. Are you fucking kidding me? I like how for years and years they told you how fucking destroyed and burnt Kane was and if he took off his mask or any of that outfit, it would just like make you like have a stroke because of the hideous sight of Kane. And then later on, he's wrestling in fucking uh, just underwear. And people forget that that was in he, <laughs> that he was supposed to be burnt. Where are the burns, guys? Where's years and years of storyline? Just down the fucking toilet like that. Can I just say that they did a terrible job with the faces in this game? That looks nothing like Vince McMahon. It looks like fucking Sonny and Bronx Tale. Now let me ask you this question. Does that look like Bret Hart? And does that look like Shawn Michaels? No, right? Exactly. That is my point. The faces in this game are just horrendous. Don't ask me why Bret Hart is in room with Shawn Michaels. I don't know. I just want to prove a point. Let's look at some of the greatest moments in WWE history. Shawn Michaels giving the DX chop to the Canadian flag. Vincent McMahon contemplating whether or not he's going to screw Bret Hart. Shawn Michaels putting Bret Hart in a sharpshooter in order to screw Bret Hart. Bret Hart realizing he's just been screwed. Vincent McMahon getting spit in his face because he screwed Bret Hart. Bret Hart just being like, damn, they fucking screwed me just now. Bret Hart walking off angry that he's been screwed. <laughs> Bret Hart <laughs> confronting Vincent Man. Vincent Man half ass and balding up his fist because he really doesn't want to fight. Because he deep down he knows Bret Hart will beat the shit out of him. That is not how it happened. Undertaker came from inside, from the under the ring, not from a fucking Thor lightning bolt. He did not come from a Thor lightning bolt. He came from inside the ring. I am so disappointed in that. That is just completely fucking far from how it happened. You're teaching these kids wrong, WWE 13. You're teaching them so wrong. I have to give Mankind Mick Foley a whole lot of credit because nobody in the history of WWE took a ass beating the way that Mick Foley was able to. Like, Mick Foley was able to take large amounts of ass whoops. This was actually, believe it or not, this was the first pay-per-view that my parents ordered for me. It was King of the Ring, Undertaker vs. Mankind, Hell in a Cell. As I saw other pay-per-views before this, but this is the first one they ordered for me, and he gets thrown off the cell. And I remember when I saw that, him get thrown off the cell, I thought that was the greatest shit ever in the history of America. No, I didn't mean that. I just threw him off of the fucking cell again. <laughs> That's not how it went. Okay, I fucked it up, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the prototype. The biggest arms in history of history. And the worst legs in the history of history. When, when did Undertaker get his hair cut like that? That is fucking terrible. That is the worst thing I've ever seen in wrestling. And I saw, I saw Ultimate Warrior wrestle, but this is the worst fucking thing ever. I'm about to throw your ass off of his hell in a cell, Undertaker. Just think about this, Michael. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it off the ledge. 
last. Yeah, off the last. Power bomb. I'm about to fucking kill you. You are dead. He is dead for real. It is over. Cause I'm the prototype. Bitch. Guess what? Jumping over this motherfucker. That's over. I like the I like the Undertaker when he had like the black woman weed from like Lucretia. I like that Undertaker. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. What the fuck? Come on now. So you fight the Undertaker at WrestleMania on Legendary mode, and somehow I, I fucking give him two finishes. Two signature moves. I throw him off of the fucking cell. I dive off of the cell onto him. He goes through the cell, and yet he gets up after a one count. I understand you're, you're dead or whatever, but I feel like that's, that's bullshit. Undertaker's finally gone. This is a wrap. Another finisher. The Undertaker streak is over, ladies and gentlemen. Prototype is the greatest wrestler of all time. That match was incredible. I can't believe what we saw during it. Let's take a look back at what exactly let's look, happened. AKA, let's take a look back at this ass whooping that was brought upon the Undertaker. There's only one thing worse than this ass whooping I gave the Undertaker, and that's when he was the American Badass. Those are the two low points of the Undertaker's career. American Badass and this ass whooping. So you have not seen the last of the prototype, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you've seen the last of that haircut that the Undertaker has. I, I pray to God. Like, not even joking around. God, please give Undertaker some hair again because I can't, I can't look at that and take it seriously. 